Welcome to our introduction to Force.com from a client's point of view. In the next few moments, we're going to talk about the distinction between Salesforce.com's Force.com platform and their sales and service clouds that you may have heard quite a bit about. Let's start by talking about what is Salesforce and what is Force.com. Secondly, we're going to quickly introduce the power and flexibility of the platform while also helping you better understand what Force.com is. And finally, we're going to talk about how to properly align your cost with your application needs. Let me quickly introduce or review what Salesforce.com refers to as their clouds. Number one, Salesforce.com has what they call the sales cloud. That's priced at $125 per user per month. And the sales cloud includes those things that are primarily used by sales users in the CRM environment. Secondly, Salesforce has what they call the service cloud, which is priced at $135 per user per month for their enterprise product. And Service Cloud is designed to really help those organizations that have a customer service group or have a call center and they're supporting um, end users. And finally, Force.com, which is also known as the Custom Cloud, is priced at $50 per user per month. So my goal in the next few minutes is to give you a better understanding of the comparison between Sales Cloud and Force.com so you understand the value proposition of the difference in terms of price and have a better understanding of how you can leverage that difference to properly align your cost with your need. Force.com is essentially the development environment or platform on top of which all of um, Salesforce.com's other components are built. The big idea of the Force.com platform though is that you can effectively build out any capability that exists in Salesforce.com you can build that capability out using the platform. The easiest way that I know of to really demonstrate the power of Force.com is to show you the similarities and differences between Force.com and Sales Cloud. So to do that, I've accessed the product information that's available on the Salesforce.com website under the Products tab, and by selecting Additions and Pricing, I can actually look at the comparison between Sales Cloud and Force.com. Now, each one of these products at the bottom has a full feature comparison chart, which I'll show you. And by combining the Sales Cloud full feature chart and the force.com feature chart, I'll be able to show you those similarities and differences. Now in this slide, what I've done is I've consolidated the, the feature matrix from the sales cloud diagram, and I've also taken the same diagram from the force.com diagram, and I've, I've merged the two together. The goal on doing that is to make it easier to understand what the feature matrixes are, and uh, better understand the comparison between sales cloud and force.com. You'll notice in this slide that I've added force.com on the far right hand side and I've identified if the feature is shared in force.com or not. And what I'm going to do to simplify this is I'm going to focus on those features that are shared and then I'm going to focus on those features that are not shared. So I'll simplify this as I go through that. In addition to that, I just want to emphasize before I go into the similarities and the differences that both uh, the sales cloud and the force.com platform share the same organizational structure, meaning data storage and file storage are exactly the same regardless if you're using Sales Cloud or Force.com, and that's an important point. Okay, so this is the diagram that shows what the similarities are between Sales Cloud and Force.com. Now there's a lot of capabilities here that I could talk about, but I'm going to emphasize a couple of big ideas that our clients are always asking about and that our clients are generally implementing when we implement Force.com for them. Number one, obviously, is accounts and contacts. That is the core foundation of Salesforce and Force.com, and so that's a key component. Chatter is also a very important element. Obviously, being able to collaborate and create an enterprise collaboration like Facebook is very, very valuable. Email integration, as well as mobile access, are also very important, as well as reporting capabilities, dashboard, and customized dashboards. So again, the same analytics that exist in Sales Cloud also exist in Force.com. Additionally, the ability to integrate using um, API capability as well as enterprise analytics are also part of the similarities as well as visual workflow. Now I took a, a screenshot from the force.com PDF that I showed a moment ago and I want to just highlight a couple additional things that are included in force.com. You'll notice at the top we have um, several things that are included and some of these I already covered a minute ago. But I didn't really talk about the capability around customization. So there's three elements in here. The first one is Apex and Visual Force. The second is API Access. And the third is Force.com IDE. 
those three bullet points reflect a tremendous amount of flexibility that exists in Force.com and essentially communicate or mean that you can build out any capability that you want to build out in Sales Cloud, you can build out in Force.com. Now, having said all of that, we do want to point out that Sales Cloud and Force.com are in fact different. And as I mentioned earlier, the sales and service objects are not included in Force.com. And so in this um, diagram, you'll see at the bottom here that the sales and service objects are defined as cases, solutions, campaigns, leads, opportunities, products, contracts, and forecasts. Some of those objects are related to the service cloud, and some of those objects are related to the sales cloud. The biggest idea, or the biggest point being, though, what's the impact of those differences? In this slide, I'm going to zero in on the differences between sales cloud and force.com. As you can see from the matrix, there are several objects that are not included in force.com, as I mentioned earlier. And those are the standard objects that we often refer to as leads, opportunities, contracts, products, and campaigns. Now, one of the key questions that we always have to ask when we're evaluating the balance between force.com and sales cloud is what is the level of usage required of those standard objects? And it's important to point out, however, that there are no limitations on what can be created in force.com. So if you need some kind of opportunity mechanism, but you don't need the full-blown opportunity tracking with the full-blown standard forecasting, in some cases it makes more sense to build an object or to add an object that meets your specific requirement rather than using the standard one. So the whole point to that is that similar capabilities can be created based on your specific needs and you only need to create those capabilities that are actually needed for your business. This goes a long way to properly aligning your cost with the actual need of your particular business. But what are some of our big conclusions? Number one, Force.com is very flexible and very, very powerful. Secondly, Force.com is an extremely good value based on the cost per user per month compared to some of your other options, whether it's Sales Cloud or whether it's a competitive product. Finally, it's easy and very fast to add those specific capabilities that you need, which as I said earlier, goes a tremendously long way to align your cost with the actual need of your particular business. I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Again, my name is Steve Snap, and I'll provide my contact information here on the, on the screen. If you'd like to schedule a call to discuss some of your specific needs, this is a link directly into my calendar that you can access anytime you'd like to schedule uh, 30 minutes to an hour to discuss anything that you might be dealing with. And you can also schedule a call directly with me via the link on our website or on this page. Thank you for your time.